your bite-sized daily roundup of the biggest news from the world of film. This is The Daily Reel with Van Connor. Good morning, it's Friday the 12th of March. Birthday to Leslie Manville and Aaron Eckhart, voiceover legend Frank Welker, legendful stop Liza Minnelli, and comedian and the voice of Harley Quinn's King Shark, Ron Funches. Believe it or not, the first Resident Evil movie opened today a staggering 19 years ago. Johnny Depp put on his best Stephen King with Secret Window, which was released today in 2004, and Jay Baruchel tried his hand at rom-coms with She's Out of My League in 2010. But for 2021, here's what's going on. Viggo Mortensen, Colin Farrell, and Joel Edgerton will lead Apollo 13 director Ron Howard's forthcoming true life tale, 13 Lives. The feature will direct the world-famous story of the children's football team and their coach who found themselves trapped within the Tam Luang Nang Nong cave system in Thailand in 2018, as it slowly flooded with water. The 12 boys and their coach were all miraculously saved two and a half weeks later after an extensive rescue operation, and the story made headlines internationally. Mortensen and Farrell have signed on to play the experienced British cave divers Richard Stanton and John Volunthan, who volunteered in the rescue, whilst Edgerton is on board as Australian anaesthetist Dr. Richard Harris. Ron Howard will shoot from a script by Gladiator's William Nicholson, with filming on 13 Lives set to begin this month. There's no word yet on the inclusion of Elon Musk and his broken submarine or random accusations of child sex abuse. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Harry Potter actress Katie Lung has opened up about the racism she experienced whilst filming on the franchise and revealed that she was told to cover it up. Lung first appeared in the fourth installment of the series Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire at the age of 16, playing the imaginatively named Cho Chang, a love interest for Daniel Radcliffe's eponymous Boy Who Lived. During this week's episode of the Chinese Chippy Girl podcast, Lung spoke out about some of her experiences whilst filming, stating, I was googling myself at one point and I was on this website which was dedicated to the Harry Potter fandom. I remember reading all the comments, and yeah, it was a lot of racist with the internet being a notorious cesspool, disgusting as it is, that's almost to be expected. But what Lung didn't expect was the reaction of publicists she spoke to at the time. I remember them saying to me, Oh look, Katie, we haven't seen these, these websites that people are talking about, and, you know, if you get asked that, just say it's not true, say it's not happening, Lung continued. And I just nodded my head. I agreed, even though I'd seen it myself with my own eyes. It's unclear if the publicist worked for Lung alone or if they were employed by Potter studio Warner Brothers. Given that the studio has declined to comment on the matter, however, and has been the subject of criticism for its treatment of actors of colour, either possibility is as likely. Katie Lung was last seen in HBO Max's critically maligned pandemic crime thriller Locked Down, which became available for rent in the UK exclusively on Amazon Prime Video yesterday. Um. I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. Oh, um... Harry, I'm, I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. Guy Ritchie and Jason Statham's next collaboration, heist thriller Wrath of Man, has secured a release date. The feature is an adaptation of 2004's Le Convoyeur, a French film that followed a security guard with an ulterior motive, taking on a position working for an armored truck company. The remake will center around the revenge-obsessed H, played by the Stath, who's tasked with driving millions of dollars around LA every week. Wrath of Man will also star Josh Hartnett, Scott Eastwood, and rapper Post Malone, with the film now eyeing a release on the 23rd of April. It won't be the last we see of Richie and Statham, however, as the two have already begun filming their next project, big-budget espionage thriller Five Eyes, with Aubrey Plaza and Hugh Grant. That one's looking to debut sometime next year. What's that? It's me belt, Turkish. No, Tommy, there's a gun in your trousers. What is a gun doing in your trousers? It's for protection. Protection from what? The Germans. Digital releases today include The Colonist, Verdict, Mouthpiece, Martyr, Come True, and Killing Escobar. While on streaming, there's the 2019 adaptation of Pet Cemetery, The Sisters Brothers, and Yesterday coming to Netflix, Chloe Zhao's Songs My Brothers Taught Me on Mubi, and Life in a Year and Aquaman come to Amazon Prime. 
The Purge election year is on four tonight. The Green Inferno is on the Horror Channel. The Incredible Hulk showing on Sony movies. ITV4's got The Matrix Revolutions. The Rainmaker and Dead Man Walking are on Five Star. Film 4 are showing Night at the Museum's Secret of the Tomb, The Last Stand, and Morgan. And E4 have got The Merc with a Mouth. Deadpool. Your Sky Cinema and Now TV premiere for today is the Andy McNabb action at SAS Red Notice. This has been The Daily Reel for Friday, March the 12th. Have a great weekend, keep it cinematic, and we'll see you Monday. The Daily Reel is a Candy Saw production presented by Van Connor and written by Calvin Prickett. All information is correct at the time of writing and source links are in the description for each episode. Don't forget to rate, review and subscribe on all good podcast platforms or ask Alexa to install the Daily Reel skill for your morning flash briefing. Follow the show on social at Daily Reel Pod and we'll be back every weekday. Until then, keep it cinematic. 